Hello friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fun little share for you today. It's vintage fairy tale themed and I have a couple of different things to share with you. So the main part of the video is going to be the flip through of this journal, vintage journal that I just completed called Favorite Fairy Tales. But I also have a couple of other things in the shop. So this book cover is a 1950s book cover and I have gutted it and put in three signatures, but some of the pages I have here in the shop for you, only one pack. It's um, 57 different pages and each page has at least one illustration on it from all different fairy tales from this book from the 50s. So I thought that this would be really great. It's, uh, you know, almost 60 pages worth and all these lovely vintage images really cute every single one has an image on it there's no just plain text um so i thought that would be really fun to add into the shop limited like i said just that one and then this is not really related but i thought i would add it to this video i have two more d stash packs these are one pound d stash packs and these are extras and misprints from my kits so these are all from my digitals there's a lot of amazing quality in here i'll just open one to show you um some of them may be miscolored or misprinted but a lot of it is just absolutely perfect i just printed too many or um like this the text is printed upside down on it which i still use those in my journals all of these are usable some of them have too wide a border or um, like it didn't print the whole thing on the page, but you can you know, use them for pockets or other things. And some of them are just absolutely perfect. I just see this one has some lines. I'd still use it though. Um, some of them are perfect, absolutely perfect. A lot of them are. Um, there's a lot of ocean music in this one. So a lot of them are really perfect condition. I just had you know printed too much or too many and I needed to downsize so I only have two packs available but they are one pound worth of papers and it's just random does not include something from all my kits it's only like a few different kits that I have here but just a random C stash lot it's all really good quality paper too so I think you'll love that all right so let's get into this journal I had fun making it this, um, I didn't do anything to the journal itself. Let's see if I can get a little more light in here. Maybe pull this curtain back and see if that helps just a little bit. Maybe <laughs> tuck that curtain up out of the way. That might work. Turn a little extra light. Okay, so this is called Favorite Fairy Tales. And on the front here, you see a genie coming out of a lamp. I love the patina, the tearing, the aging. The cover's still in great condition. I mean, there are little tears. This is number two from the children's hour set called Favorite Fairy Tales. Here is Cinderella on the back running away. She's lost her, her glass slipper. And um, I did put metal book corners on it. Sewed in three signatures. Add a little bit of trim to the top and bottom three signatures there is I didn't put a closure on it because I liked the way it looked you could expand this it's quite full but you could still definitely expand it so let's just do a flip through this is available in the junk journal sections check section of my Etsy shop I think I can zoom in so you guys get a really good view of this all right I wanted to leave the end papers they were so precious and it's all fabric reinforced. The spine is, I just used a red cotton and then we have a red uh, ribbon with some blue stitching. Got cardstock, this is Can Company double-sided cardstock. I made a little tuck tag here. That's from a calico collage kit. I think it's called Pink Grace, but I thought the crown made me think of fairy tales. That's why I used it. Um, just a little it's definitely fairy tailed, fun, children themed. Got some puzzle pages with stenciling. 
Then I've also used some of my fairy kit called Fairy Frolics. That's available in my Etsy shop, digitally or printed. So I thought that was fun to add some of that in. And then I used some papers from Digital Curio, uh, the Etsy shop Digital Curio. And I loved these ones. I thought they looked really magical. But they printed a white border, which is fine. Um, and I, it's not the papers that printed the white border, it was my printer. So it depends upon the printer I'm using uh, and the settings, whether I have a white border or not. So I just used a distress marker and I used it in the color Salty Ocean. And I just did a little uh, design wave pattern here, just kind of around the edges. I did that throughout whenever there was a white border. Instead of distressing it or cutting it off, I thought that looked really cool. I don't know, it's just different. So we have a little bit of butterfly washi that I put there. And then I put quite a few of the original book pages in here. I just used my rip ruler and ripped some of the edges, used some washi tape to put them together. So this is part of the table of contents. I really like that, like the story of Aladdin or the wonderful lamp. That would be this picture on the front, I think. So but a whole bunch of different ones, Peter Pan, Captain Hook. So some purple flower stickers. I had those in my shop for a while. I need to reorder because they sold out, but these are mine. This is from Fairy Frolics. I love these painted butterflies. And if you'd like to use them as digital stamps or design with them, Digital Curio has those as well. And then this, this is kind of special to me. My um, four-year-old for his preschool, he brought these home. These are from his school. And you know, he loses them and they lay all around the house and get everywhere and he's gonna get more next year. So I thought um, instead of them laying all around the house and instead of me throwing them out, I would put them in the journals. So that's one of my son's school cards. Just added some stitching. These are both stickers. It's a washi sticker and then a little butterfly sticker so you can put those anywhere. I've used some vintage Raggedy Ann and Andy book pages as well. So it's not purely fairy tale, it's just kind of like a childhood fairy tale theme and this is the story of the fairy ring so i thought that was really cute this is a coloring book page really good quality so you could use colored pencils markers whatever you wanted to on that um i have used a stamp from in love arts and um their link if you go to my facebook group you'll find it there is a file there pinned at the top that shops I frequently mention or use. So if I'm mentioning or using shops, most likely it is there and that is where you will find it. So I have a little vintage playing card here that is super cute. And then this is another one of my son's flash car cards. It's, you know, queen for the letter Q. And then I have one of the table of contents pages from the book and a little Tim Holtz guy. I thought he kind of looked like Geppetto or an old, you know, grandfather type character from a fairy tale. This is the Ugly Duckling. I've used a rose border punch. That's from my fairy kit. This is from my Betty Fairy um, digital papers that you can also get in my shop. It's an old children's book called the Betty Fairy book. And um, I've just pretty much turned it into journal pages. So you can add it to your journal more from my fairy kits. This is from my ugly duckling kit. I thought I'd add that. Got that in some happy mail. Be brave, be kind, be true, be you. And what I like about it is there's gold thread on that. I need to order gold thread because it just adds so much. And then there's a little tag and a piece of ephemera. This is a fabric flip and I have put a little mini bingo card snippet with a gold staple in there coloring page, Raggedy Ann and Andy. This I got in some happy mail and it's, I think it's Chinese, I'm not sure, but look at how cute that is. It's like a little kid's book in another language. So I thought that was fun with the whole fairy tale and children's book theme. And a little die cut there as well. And here we have, it says let's celebrate something today and I've stitched around that. It's just a little cut apart and then a little fairy ephemera. It's got some glitter on it. That's for my fairy kit. 
little tag. Yeah, it's copyright 1953. That's what this book is. This is from my fairy kit, and there's a, another cut apart. Got I got these in Happy Mail. They're so cute. So I just stitched them together to make a little like border. You could tuck something in there as well. Made a little snippet collage for the second signature. This is from my fairy kit. It's a dictionary page for the word fairy and fairy tale, I think. This is a little mini book, kids book page, little piece of flower clip art. It's from my fairy kit. This is from my dollar digis. This is called Rose Gold. You can find it in the dollar digis section of my shop or you can get it printed in the print shop section of my shop an owl stamp and a Tim Holtz sentiment, some bird washi, more Raggedy Ann and Andy. And then here, this was fun. I enjoyed making this here. So uh, this layaway tag with the gold floral and the fairy spark sparkles is in my fairy kit. And I glued it onto coffee dyed paper so there's lots of uh, journaling space. And then there's a little, this is from a little wallpaper book and just a little tag with some sorry silk that I made. Another coloring book page, some stamping and a paper ribbon with a button. Oh. This is from my fairy kit. It's a quote from the Anne of Avonlea book. Of course I knew there are no fairies, but that needn't prevent me thinking there is the Betty fairy book. This is a different fairy tale book that I have. And so I added some pages from that as well. This is from my fairy kit with a little, <clears throat> excuse me, paper ribbon, a little story of a blue beard. There's a bird uh, stamp there. Here's a little Peter rabbit snippet. Oh, super cute. I thought that went well with the stories. Another one of my son's flash cards cue for quilt. Lots of places to put photos, do collaging. This is from my fairy kit as well, and the Betty fairy. And then made a pocket. This I cut out from a children's book. I thought that was so cute as a bookmark. And then there's a flash card and a vintage rook card as well. Here is a fabric flip with a really pretty uh, like embroidered type flower on that. So there's a gold doily tuck spot and I've put in a fairy tale book. This is a story of Drake's tale. Love the colors on that. And then this is, this is an Anna Griffith paper, I believe. And it has that velvet like velour feeling to it. And I stitched around that. More Raggedy Ann and Andy. Some stenciling. More, this is rose gold. Little fabric piece I put on there. That's from my fairy kit. And then I've added these two pieces of ephemera from my fairy kit as well. Got that in Happy Mail. And then there's a little sticker stamp with mushrooms. And then this. I think this is from Digital Collage Club and you can find lots of information on her printables in my description box below. Uh, my viewers get between 10 to $20 off her memberships. She has hundreds of printables. Invest in a membership, you will not regret it. Um, and so I'm partnering with her to try to get some of those sold. You can find that in my description box below. So I have a little bag here. I put some bird washi on it and then two little game cards um, blue and green colors. This is Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. A little piece from Cinderella and a little strawberry tag. That is from my fairy kit. This is from the Betty fairy kit. These are the background pages or the extra pages. Some little pieces of ephemera, Raggedy Ann and Andy. That's from my fairy kit. This is also from my fairy kit, it says fairy tale, rose gold. And then um, Mandy had sent me these little 
like ephemera pieces of stained glass. So I thought that went really well with fairy tales. This is a vintage bird book page. And I think birds, you know, the little happy forest critters have to do with fairy tales as well. And a little piece of little die cut there. That is such a cute picture. This is from my fairy, uh, fairy kit. There's Cinderella. Beautiful old images. Little sticker. Joanne sent me that, so that's fun. This is a vintage um, encyclopedia entry for Jane Austen. And then I've done some stamping, made a little tuck spot, and this is a Project Life card. Spread your wings and fly, and memories. This is from my fairy kit. It says, come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild with a fairy hand in hand, and that's a Yeats quote. That is also from my fairy kit. I think this is Chicken Little, the story of Chicken Little. We have a brown doily, and then this tag is also from my fairy kit. So is this page, and this is Puck Song, William Shakespeare from A Midsummer Night's Dream. Rose Gold. Fairy. Fairy. Raggedy Ann and Andy, trying to use up those book pages. And then on here, this is one of how I made the pages. This is an example. I put washi on both sides where they folded in half. This is the elves and the shoemaker. And um, I don't remember what story this is, but it's another story. Anyway, so I just added that in here so you could either use it in a journal or collage or whatever you wanted to do with it. And a little apple tag. This is from my fairy kit. This tag is from Calico Collage from her Simply Autumn kit. And I just made a tuck spot. And then this glue. I used Fabri-Tac this time and it was oozing. Okay. So this is a library card from Above Park Crafts. I love the blue color and I thought it went really well. And again, the back is just like the front. So there's a lot of pages in here. Um, I don't remember how many. It'll be in the description box below, or not in the description box below, but in the description of the listing on my website. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to do more like this. I have a lot of these book covers and different themes, and I'm just trying to use some of them up, get them into the hands of people who will use them and love them. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video.